Yo, what's up guys, Y'all Dog Gaming here today, and today we're going to be discussing how to get Dark Matter fast, and I'm going to be showing you guys all the ways on how to, uh, how to get your guns gold, obviously, and in the end goal, Dark Matter, I do not yet have Dark Matter, I have Diamond for my assault rifles and my, um, as well as my tactical rifles so far. And I have gold for my rocket launcher and one of my shotguns, so I'm getting there. But um, starting off, I'm going to start off with the assault rifles. Uh, ICR. This goes for basically all assault rifles. Um, for your headshots, you're going to, for me, for basically just about anything I'm going to do in this game, it's going to be hardcore domination. You just want to slide over to hardcore, go down, and you will see hardcore domination. Uh, you are at 30 health, you don't have your main map and stuff, but it's basically a one-shot kill for most things, especially to the head. So you're going to be one wanting to play that. Um, I found out that playing solo or in 2 or 3, anything above 3, doesn't work out as well as 1, 2, or 3. Um, players, like, in your, like, in a party. <laughs> and, uh, so, so you're going to want to play Hardcore Domination, first of all. Um, yes, going for Dark Matter will kill your KD, but you will want to obviously aim for the head. Um, I will put up videos on spawn trapping and all sorts of stuff, but try to either find a... I mean, if you're having, like, large troubles with the headshots, um, which I didn't really have problems with for assault rifles, um, try... I know, um, it's weird, but try camping. Try maybe camping a doorway. And aiming, make sure you guys are aiming head level, um, not any lower, because um, your gun won't kick up and hit them in the head. Your gun will just kill them first shot, first of all. So you're going to want to aim head level. Anything below that, you're just going to kill them. Um, even if you're aiming below and you get a hit marker, it's just one more bullet and you kill them. So. Um, I found out firing range is very nice. Just about any like fast, faster paced map will work out great um and for the challenges long shots um obviously jungle and militia will be very good um firing range is actually surprisingly good if you sit at the firing range we're all like um at the back of the map and you aim towards the little armory like the little wooden like little house i guess you can say where you have sea flag um that little wooden house can be used for so many long shots. You can shoot across the map towards A, towards the spawn. Um, just, um, I could show you guys, but I don't really feel like it. 50 kills without any attachments, that's easy. Hardcore domination, like I said. All attachments, easy. Um, get two rapid kills five times. Um, you should easily get that while going for any, uh, any of these two. Maybe even the long shots. Um... So that'll just come naturally. If not, maybe try a bit of spawn trapping. It's super easy though if you play hardcore. You shoot you can shoot two bullets and get this. You can shoot ten bullets total and get this. Um and then the five bloodthirsties. Um you can camp if you're having troubles with this. Mine just kinda came naturally while doing these, especially in hardcore. Um and then that will get you gold for the ICR. Same goals for the Rampart, KN, Vapor, Maddox. Maddox is super nice and hardcore. KN hops around. These two guns have a wee bit of kick. So, um, attachment shouldn't really matter. Um, this is my ICR class setup. Now I'm going to be moving on to the submachine guns. Um, hardcore domination yet again. Kind of treated like the ESR office, but play a bit closer. Closer range. Um, I've not got one of these gold, but just from past Call of Duties, and it's going to be the same as, say, uh, tactical rifles or even assault rifles, so just do the same thing for the assault rifles, play a little bit closer, long shots shouldn't be too hard, maybe the Spitfire will be hard, uh, put some grip on that, wait, does it even have grip? Let's see. It does not have grip. So that sucks. But for... Um... 
that's that's basically it for the sub machine gun. Tactical rifle. These are the easiest dude in the game, in my opinion. These are the easiest. Um, at least out of the regular guns, easiest by far. I mean, if you really like sniping, that should be easy. But um, headshots. These don't have much kick at all, and they're all basically a guaranteed one shot headshot from any range in hardcore. So just aim head level. Same. Treat it like an assault rifle, basically. Auger, you might want to play a little bit slower, but these two you can get away with playing a bit faster. Uh, light machine guns. I, <coughs> I know I'm basing a lot of stuff off the assault rifles, but it's basically most of it's the same. But play a little bit slower, kind of like the auger. Play it a little bit slower. These should be easy. Um, they're all pretty good guns, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, fire it on Hades is really good so um one shot headshots yet again sniper rifles um you can play except for the SDM you can play core or hardcore depends on what you like but in core for all the semi autos you're not gonna get a one shot which is what the challenge is um you're not gonna get a one shot below like basically rib level on the paladin and below like chest level on the other ones so um honestly if you're liking hardcore domination go ahead and do that that's what i've been doing uh jungle and militia are good maps um i found out jungle is really nice sitting on top of the cliff i know it's a very common spot but laying down on the cliff people don't usually see you if you lay down but if you stand up they'll kill you easily and then if you're on the other side of the map on domination just watch the cliff or watch but like below the cliff that'll work too and then bloodthirsties you those might be hard for the sniper rifles depends on how good of a sniper you are but you you just gotta camp it out long shots is super easy with the sniper over rifles that's what they're meant to do um no attachments they should that should be pretty easy all attachments is pretty easy yet again it's just 50 kills um and then what else is two rapid kills so um you're definitely gonna want to play do uh, like domination hardcore domination for that if you're gonna play a core game i would recommend domination domination general is just probably best game mode maybe followed by hard point if you really don't like domination kill confirmed maybe but objective based ones are the best because you can really control spawns and you'll know where they are coming from um same that Paladin goes for the Outlaw and Kashka. SCM, um, just use it as if you're playing with the Augur. Um, if, let me see if there's an Iron Sight. Yeah, use the Iron Sight on that. And then, yeah, use the Iron Sight on that. I like the dual zoom on the snipers. You can use Iron Sight once you unlock it or holographic if you don't like that. But, um, that's it for snipers. I'm going to go on to secondaries now. Pistols, um, treat it like SMGs slash ARs in the middle there. Um, Strife, I've heard it's super easy. Mazu isn't too hard. This one has a bit of kick and doesn't do the most damage really at all. And doesn't have the best range either. Obviously, it's a pistol. It's secondary. But, um... It's just headshots yet again, so really not too hard. Shotguns. Um, do I have? Okay, so for the M, the Mog 12, instead of headshots, it's actually just one-shot kills. So go to hardcore for sure for that. For sure, put long barrel on. I don't like. I don't like the. Uh, what's it called? I don't remember anymore. Um, the barrel. I don't like the barrel choke. Um, I I would personally stick with the long barrel, but if you like the barrel choke, um, go for it. I would go. This would be my class setup. I would go. Long barrel. If for the all attachments and um thing, I would go long barrel, fast mag, speed loader, rapid fire, quick draw. That's what I'd go. And then the optic, of course the elo um that's what i would do for the six attachments challenge 
And then for the Bloodthirsties, um, those are pretty easy. Just get some nice attachments on. For these shotgun classes, I don't even put on a regular gun. I just run straight shotgun. I don't put it on a primary gun. I just run straight up shotgun. Two rep kills. That'll come easily. No, no attachments. That's a pain in the butt. That's an absolute pain in the butt. So, um, you gotta get really close for that. You can't use long barrel, which is awful. Um, ten revenge kills. Just try to not don't try to get killed, but that'll come as you're getting these basically. Just getting killed and then going back for vengeance. <laughs> um, so those will happen naturally. This will happen naturally. That could slash should kind of happen naturally, but if it doesn't, try to control like a building that has like tight corners and stuff that um no like AR players can get you out of. They have to come in the building and face you with a shotgun player. So I uh, yes I do have goals for this gun. Um and then going back to the SG twelve um same thing but it's actually headshots but don't worry you might be thinking right now shotguns headshots that's gonna be impossible right you're gonna have to get right next to them no you do not um it's actually pretty the headshots for this gun in this game is actually really generous um in this game as long as you hit one pellet to the head it'll count as a headshot so i recommend using the red dot as a reflex and i recommend once you unlock max load use it because it gives you two extra pellets and that's just two extra pellets that can hit the head. And then long barrel, of course. And then um, I just put laser sight on just to know where I'm going to be aiming in hardcore. But you can also use um, a cinemag. Steady grip is definitely not needed at all. Like, at all. You really don't need it. It's completely pointless. Um, but, yeah, you can use extended mags. Is it plus four? Okay, so it goes from six to four. I've never been in a case where I needed, I ran out of bullets, um, especially in hardcore. I never really play core. But going on to the launcher, I do have the launcher gold, boys. Yes. Um. So just play hardcore, Dom. Obviously, yet again, I it's just my go-to game mode, as you can probably tell so far. Destroying harness core streaks. These will. At least like nine, at least ninety of mine came from UAV slash counter UAVs. Um, so just whenever you hear an announcer say "enemy UAV in the skies," use pull your rocket launcher, destroy it. It'll add up pretty quickly, honestly. Um, and then get ten. Okay, I'm gonna go destroy five score streaks in a game. Um, uh, yet again, just counter UAVs and UAVs. That's easy. Just shoot it as soon as it comes up. Um, just go, destroy two score streaks rapidly with the Helion Salvo, the rocket launcher. Um, just wait for someone to get a UAV and counter a UAV up at the same time. Those will usually happen if they're running it because um, they're really close to each other. So just destroy one and then destroy the other right away. I'll get 10 direct hits. What you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to do... Um, you're going to want to hold down... A doorway saying slums a popular doorway on the left side or right side I don't whatever um, you know the blue building uh, the middle blue building right say you just hold down the door there and you wait for someone to come through and then you shoot so um that's how I did that and on domination uh, if someone's on a flag they're usually gonna be still just wait for someone to hop on the flag um, and then go towards the flag where they're not looking and then shoot them. <laughs> Destroy five matches or centuries. This is the hardest, I mean, depends on how good you are. But um, if you're watching this video, you're probably having trouble. So, um, Destroy five matches or centuries. You're going, that's gonna, it's going to take a while. You're probably going to have to get a total of 10 to like around 10 mantis slash centuries because half the time you're not going going to be able to destroy it but um with this class run cold-blooded uh with your rocket launcher class when you're doing these challenges 
and then destroy attack to place barricades or razor wires. Most of these are going to be coming from razor wires. Um, you might want to go to a core for this because people use their abilities a lot more in core because they don't realize half they half the time they don't realize they have their abilities in hardcore. Um, so that's the rocket launcher. Now to go on to the combat knife, you're going to be needing 200 kills with uh with the combat knife instead of the 100 headshots or 100 score streaks destroyed and stuff like that or 101 shots. And then after that, it's just the normal challenges. Um, but instead of long shots, you're going to be needing um I believe it's revenge kills, and then. Instead of um, the pr for the purple hex, instead of obviously an optic and five attachments, which you can't have any attachments on the knife. Um, instead of that, it's going to be it's going to be you're gonna need to kill someone, pick up their gun, and kill them with their own gun. Kill them with a combat knife, pick up their gun, and kill them with their own gun. So. Um, hardcore is going to be nice for that. Um, they're most likely going to be coming back for revenge on you. So you just got to wait for them to come back. Kill them. They're going to be most likely go back in that same lane. So most maps have three, like, lanes, I guess you could call them. Most maps do that. It's a Treyarch thing. Um, so they're most likely going to be coming back towards that lane. Try to kill you. Because they're mad that you killed them, obviously. Well, maybe they're not mad, but they'll still come back. Um, just wait, say in a corner, wait for him to come back, kill them with their own gun. Um, and then the bloodthirsty, um, just like I recommended for the shotguns, hold down a building with tight corners, um, hold down a bu building with tight corners, and say like, even my, like Morocco, like the building with the, with the stairwell, staircase, whatever you want to call it. In the building, you can camp in there, and you get the blood th bloodthirsty. Or if you're good at knifing, you can just do stuff. And then for the mother of pearl, you're going to be needing uh, ten backstab kills. So just wait on the side of a doorway, wait for someone to run past you. If this is if you're having trouble getting the backstabber, which shouldn't really happen, but just in case you do. Um, just wait in a doorway, wait for them to run past you. And then run at them. And in the class setup, they're gonna want to have, they're gonna want to have your knife here. Um, you're gonna want engineer, lightweight, cold blooded. Then you want ghost for sure. And then um, these three can all be used. Um, dead times if the other team is sound whoring and tracker. Um, I don't really like team like too well. Um. But tracker is also very nice to see where people are going if you are having trouble finding people. Um, and then you can use the acoustic sensor as well. So um, that would be it for today's video. Um, if you have any questions, just comment them down in the comment section. I will be looking at all the comments in the video or on the video. So if you do have any questions, um, if I didn't cover a gun, which I believe I covered all of them, if I didn't cover any of the guns or you have any questions, um, I will be happy to answer them. Uh, see you guys later.